Yeah, hi guys. Uh, just a quick follow up from a video which I did yesterday, which was just stripped down of the little Sax 502 stroke 1A engine, little 50cc moped engine. Uh, so I spent this morning just cleaning everything up in parts washer and with a uh, uh, we basically a cordless drill with a wire brush on it, different, different wire brushes. Everything's come up really well. I'm happy with that cylinder head. I've done one of these before, I never got it that clean. And again, uh, the actual cylinder itself, that's come up really well. I was thinking about actually powder coating both of those, but I'm going to leave them as they are because they're uh, really nice. Uh, the bore's all been cleaned up, just honed that out. I've got one of these little sprung loaded three prong hones that goes on the end of a, a drill um, yeah I've had to do my own gasket not the best but it'll be fine um, yeah and the piston I've reattached already to the con rod um, lube everything as I go as well so I've got two pots here uh, this is automatic transmission fluid this one's just normal two-stroke oil so two-stroke oil gudgeon pin Obviously main, uh, uh, big end, small end. Um, yeah, and I don't know if you've seen the video from uh, the previous one to this, which was the dismantling of the engine. Um, someone had really hammered the top of this piston, um, but it actually cleaned up very easily. Um, one other thing on here as well, um, it's got the diameter, which is 38, uh, with a arrow, and the arrow points to the exhaust port. Uh, which on the first one of these I actually got wrong. Um, I did it the other way around. But, uh, uh, yeah, new piston rings, the old piston rings just over here. Uh, one of them broke, that one's actually uh, seems to be all right. Um, and I've just, um, uh, one other thing as well, I said yesterday about the um, three compression cable not coming out of that hole, um, because when I looked down it, that's what I saw tiny little hole not realizing it's a washer and a um, obviously a fiber washer as well there's obviously just to prevent uh, oil leak and that goes in there so just the inner cable goes through that so yes you'll be able to do the uh, decompression cable through that hole um yep everything's been all the studs have been <coughs> cleaned um everything's been re-tapped or, or, or dye run down the threads <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so needle roller bearings all on there ready to go. Um, so it's just a matter of putting that in. And that just goes straight on. I've already lubed those. So I've had this on and off a couple of times already. There we go. Okay, so that's like that. And then have two washers. That go on top of here as well like so this is basically towards the back remember again if you watch yesterday's uh, you show that that lines up with that recess uh, in there so you got the pin that's stuck up there um, so this is the back because the chain goes through here yeah so this is at the front it's just offset from the engine id tag yeah, so that goes through there like that. That should be very close there. Oh, look at that, straight on. Uh, I'd already put the the rubber seal on there as well. Uh, that was it. That was very straightforward. Uh, so five screws. These have all been cleaned up. Ready to go in. I might have used the original ones of these. You don't really see these because they're behind the covers. I'll just nip these up for the time being. And all the holes have been, um, I say, tapped, um, and obviously everything, you know, blown out. Make sure there's nothing in the holes because what you don't want to do is you don't want to tighten one of these screws down. And there's debris in the hole, and then you end up cracking a case. In that's uh, that's not good. I'm quite surprised how tight that is. Actually, I thought I was uh, gone straight in. Right, this one is. Uh, 
just nipping it down as you go. Nothing too, uh, nothing too tight. And I will actually tighten all this up later. I'm not going to tighten them right down now. <clears throat> um, and then I'm not going to. I'm not going to do the. Uh, the ignition side of it and the magneto today and it's just purely uh, gearbox and engine assembly that was a bit tight for some reason as well that's it and the last one here straight in the last one nice and loose Okay, I'll go around them later on. <coughs> right, so now it's just a matter of really just putting the uh, cylinder and the piston on. Piston, cylinder and the head on, even. So uh, makes much more sense to me. Uh, right, yeah, so on the piston, these have got two little lugs. Around the side to keep the piston rings in the right place. You might not be able to see that, it's just a little like down. I think the other one's just here. Yeah, it is. So the bottom one's just on the side. You can't see that on camera, probably. Um, yep, yeah, so that's it. Everything's ready to go. All right, so we start with the top one. Make sure the ring's in the right place, which it is. We'll have some two-stroke oil and a piston. So exhaust is there, <coughs> exhaust is there, <coughs> inlets that side, which is in line with that, so basically it goes this way. No gasket for the cylinder head. Um, and I believe this is on the top. <coughs> so, like so. Yeah, unfortunately, one of the fins just broken off there. Not by me, it was always like that. Um, bit of a shame that can't be helped. So I've got some washers and new washers. Right. 
Machine tool that is. It was found underneath the bonnet of a car. Magnetic. Okay, and it's sprung as well, so it actually goes in as you do it out. Uh, these are the original head uh, nuts, which is quite handy as it happens. Um, just they are basically double the double the depth. If you like, of a normal, normal nut. To me, someone's overdone this at some stage as well. The the oh, I've put a tap. That's why I die down the threads. Uh, the thread has been stretched. So someone has really, really over tightened these at some stage. Ah, now okay. So. <coughs> That's really it, engine assembly. Uh, one thing I should have done, should have put that in, because that is much easier to tighten up with the head not on. It is possible, but uh, yeah. <coughs> So I might just take that off again just to do that. Um, so that's it, that's your basic engine assembly. Uh, very straightforward, um, not much to them, really. Um, and then it's just a matter of um, sticking my decompression cable back in um i've just got bungs in here where i've sprayed it um, and then just reassemble stick me uh stick me ignition parts on uh, it's just in a tray here at the minute and then uh <coughs> that'll be it I'll just wait for the uh, frame to come back from the from the sprayers right thanks very much for watching uh speak to you soon